Hey guys, for this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Pro Builder on Rec'em Studio. So if you don't really know what the Pro Builder is, it's just a really useful way to build stuff in Unity. So instead of creating stuff with the Maker Pen, you can just build stuff with Pro Builder, and it's really flexible with putting your own materials on them too. And it's just a way if you don't want to really use Blender, then you could just use Pro Builder and just create anything you want in Unity. Okay, so once you're in Unity and you have your room opened, Pro Builder should automatically already be in the project. But if it's not, you just go up here to Window package manager and just search up pro builder in the search bar right here and then install it so to actually get the pro builder you want to go up here to tools then pro builder and click pro builder window now usually it'll just pop up as like a little window just drag that window over here and now you have all of these settings so first we're just going to click new shape and you could choose any shape i'm just going to choose the cube to place it you just drag and just like place it like that and if you hold shift then it kind of just like copies the cube and then you'll see these four settings up here so first we're gonna go on the vertex selection one this one you could kind of just like select any of the vertices and you could just move it like that same with this one it's just the edge selection get and move any of the edges the face selection is the main one you want to use you could select the face and scale it like this you do not want to be scaling your pro butter object with a normal scale tool because it will distort any materials you'll put on it so if you're going to be scaling your cube go up here and click the face selection and then scale the cube like this so now you can see that there is a lot more settings you could choose from i don't know what a lot of these do so you guys are just gonna have to like mess around with these I don't really use Pro Builder that much, but it is really useful. But each of these has its own settings for this. So right now we're on the face, so we see these settings. Click on the edge ones, then it kind of changes a little bit. If you click on this one, it changes a little bit again. If you click on this one, it just goes back to this. So first one of the really useful ones I would use is this extrude faces. If you click that, it will extrude it out like that. And subdivide, you could like subdivide and make more faces. Use the cut tool to like cut out random shapes. You can subdivide the whole object to make more faces and vertices. But now if you select on a different object and I'm on the move tool and you'll see you don't see the move tool it's because you are selecting one of these three settings you have to be on this one in order to move other objects so i'm just gonna show you how to just kind of use the materials so i have this material right here with this sand texture on it if i just drag and drop the material on it and click on it and go on the faces and then i just like scale this out you can see that it is not being stretched and it is just a really easy way to make stuff because the material doesn't get stretched but again if you do use this scale tool then it will stretch the material. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.